Prasar and Kenny. It is my honor to welcome and thank you all for coming today to express your love and support for this incredible couple. They have prepared and planned and prayed for this moment that every detail of this beautiful celebration would be exactly as they hoped it would be. Of course, the reason why they invited each of you is because it is important to them that you would be here to celebrate with them. So again, thank you for honoring their request and coming today to express your love and support. To the queen bee of my life, Sarah. The past week leading up to this day has been crazy happy moments. But today marks the start of what I know will be a happier life with you. A life of adventure, a life of love that only seems to grow stronger as we grow older. A life of laughter at the silliest of things, a life of growing with each other. I'm ever so grateful for whatever force it was that nudged you towards me four years ago. Because today I'm marrying my dream. God sent me the greatest match of my life because he gave me you. You are a great person, Sara. You are my source of joy, source of happiness. You have made me feel complete, more alive, and I am a better person with you by my side. I could not have asked for a better life companion. You are my soulmate. This is about more than just two people becoming legally married, but this is about two believers in the Lord Jesus Christ pledging their love and vows of commitment for a lifetime. What is it about marriage? that is so important to God? What is it about marriage that is so important to me? Could it be that God has created marriage, the most intimate of human relationships, for the purpose of refining us, chiseling off our selfish human nature, and making us more other-centered? How best to make us other-centered than to give us a spouse, very different from us, to hone us into his own image? Your marriage must stand neither by the authority of the state nor by the seal of your wedding certificate, but by the strength of your love for God and each other, as well as by the power of your faith in God and each other. Who gives this woman to be married to this man? We do. <laughs> Overjoyed. I am overwhelmed by the love that you guys have had. I've known you, Sara, for about four or five years. Kenny, I've known you since Sarah has brought you in her life. But I just want to say you guys are an amazing couple. You have a tremendous amount of love. So take this moment tonight. Enjoy yourselves. Continue loving the way that you know how to love. So I know Sara very well. And... She is probably the most genuine, loving people I've ever met. I'm so happy for you. You found your king. He found his queen, okay? I really do love you and welcome. It's always gonna be SBC, but K, you can be invited too. Good luck to you guys. <laughs> Kenny, obviously I love you like a brother. Uh, Kenny and I met back in college, uh, about 2010 I think it was, Kenny. Um, he and I, uh, bonded over some wine 
and uh, his love for Manhattans and my love for Manhattans, which I should have known was foreshadowing, falling in love with a girl in New York. Um, and then I met Sarah. Um, Kenny kept talking about this girl in New York. And um, you and Kenny are the perfect couple. Um, so thank you all. as the two of you today in the presence of God, your family and friends, have consented together to be joined as husband and wife and have given and pledged your love to each other, I now, according to the ordinances of God and the authority vested in me by the state of Georgia and by the power of your love and commitment to one another, I now pronounce you husband and wife. And what God joins together let no man put asunder. And Kenny, you may now kiss your wife. And from this day forward, I am now and will forever be yours. I will be faithful to you and give you my trust. There is so much more I could say, but I'm going to spend the rest of my life showing you what you mean to me. Love always, your future husband, Kenny.